everyone, I hope you're well. So I wanted to come on and do a Audi grocery haul um, and show you my meal plan. So yeah, I spent 87 pounds and three pence, I believe. Um, kids are back at school on Friday, so I've got some like snacky bits and lunchy bits. Um, but yeah, generally not a massive shop, but some essentials as well. So I'll show you what I got. Okay, starting over here, I have got my favorite yogurts. These are my protein, just kind of like a Greek style. It's quite a thick yogurt. I love the passion fruit one, peach and passion fruit, the raspberry and the vanilla are probably my favorites. The other one that they do is strawberry, but I don't know, it's just not, not usually one that I pick anymore. I just choose these three. Um, I got two lots of the won wonky blueberries. We just, honestly, like one pun it, we can just eat that in one go. So um, yeah, I've got two lots of those and then I will uh, be showing you my fruit and veggie box that I get from the farmer's market tomorrow. So I'm gonna add that on as well. So this is just a, a, a basic fruit and veg stuff that we've got, but we always eat more. Um, so the recipes that I'm doing this week call for mushrooms, like two lots of mushrooms. So I got chestnut mushrooms and just some uh, closed cup white mushrooms. I've got some tomatoes, some delicious, golden delicious apples, which are my absolute favorite. I take one to work and I basically eat an apple a day, pretty much. And then the kids have been loving the mini apples. I just find it's just less waste and even Miles can eat, kind of dig in and eat one. Um, some seedless grapes. I got the classic fruit salad, which I get pretty much every week and I will be eating that in a minute because I just always eat it on the day I buy it. It's about 70 pence, but it's just nice and me and Miles usually snack on it. Um, some celery sticks, baby cucumber. We've got the seeded chunky hummus. They haven't had this in ages and it's literally just our favorite, mine and Miles especially. And then I thought I would try the caramelized onion hummus as well. Prawn cocktail for Graham, he loves that. And then these, button yogurts they're not really yogurts you know the cho chocolate things um so usually i get these for the boys like the two big boys as in like graham and alistair um two lots of these because they really like them but they've started doing these in a four pack you they usually um used to always do them individual so now it's so much better value and um yeah so i've just been mixing up and buying one of each and they really like that um, back over here, we've got three lots, three onions, some passion fruit. Again, oh, I've been loving passion fruit. The kids love it as well. They literally, I cut them in half and they literally just scoop it out and eat it. I put mine on my yogurt. Sometimes I'll just put it on my vanilla yogurt or granola or something. Some miniature potatoes. I love these little things. They're so tiny, but they are so nice, like roasted or um, I boil them and add loads of butter. So nice. Um, the kids have absolutely been loving this chocolate fudge cake. I've honestly been buying one a week as like a little treat. And we've just been sharing it off as a pudding like on a Friday night or a Saturday. And they love it. You can have it hot or cold, but they love it cold. Like, because obviously it's in the frozen section. Um, if you just leave it to defrost, they love it just like that. Um, I actually really like it hot, but most of the time we eat it cold with a little bit of single cream. The kids love, obviously, the squirty cream. So that has been a, a, like quite a, tr a, a cheap treat, really. Um, and it is really tasty. Maris Piper potatoes, I got three lots of the corn in their husks. Again, I have been buying these every single week. Uh, a lot of the time, Graham will literally just throw the whole thing on the barbecue and then open it out and then grill them a little bit um, when they, you know, pretty much cooked. Um, I've also just been peeling them and then um, boiling them like you would corn. It's just so kind of in season and sweet and oh, so good at the moment. These are really nice. I think they're only about 29p each as well, so really cheap. And then I got some bananas as well because the boys especially love bananas, not Graham. He's not that big fan, but the, the kids, um, they love their bananas. So over here, I also got some Italian style salad. I got some tender stem broccoli. Um, I got some of the mild cheddar sticks. 
going out tomorrow and you know sometimes like graham will come in and we'll just like pick one of these up and take it out to work with him as a little snack he really likes those and miles is a, a big cheesy he loves his cheese um chopped garlic I, I haven't bought this before but i thought it would just be so convenient sometimes i buy the paste but that is yeah that looks really good and then i got two lots of the stir through pasta sauces so i got the tomato and mascarpone um i think i've had that one before they're just really handy pantry staples really for like a quick lunch or a quick dinner um, you know, you can throw some meat in there with chicken. Uh, this one is the tomato and grilled peppers. And then I also got some chicken mini breast fillets, some cheese strings. Miles loves those as well. Smoked salmon. I got that last week and everyone went crazy for it. So I did smoked salmon and cream cheese bagels for lunch. A bit salad. Um, some bacon rashers for like bacon sandwiches. Um, and then we've got some grated mozzarella for homemade pizza. Probably do that on Friday. Um, and then I've got some Parmesan that's already um, grated and, you know, tiny, finely grated, shall I say. Um, some honey roast ham for like sandwiches and whatever. We're going out tomorrow. Some flame grilled chicken thins. I've been loving this. This is really nice. I only got one this week, so I just don't really need much. But um, I also got these mainly for Graham chicken drumsticks. He likes those for lunch. Um, some tubes, yogurt tubes. These are great for pat lunches. Miles actually can use these really, really well himself. And then I got a spinach and ricotta pizza, which was 30% off and I'm literally this is in the fresh section the kids love this one but I'm going to bung it in the in the freezer just as a quick dinner whenever we need it I've got some pitted dates um I don't remember ever seeing dates there so I don't know if these are new in but um I love I love dates they're so nice especially with peanut butter I got some apple juice for Graham because he loves uh cloudy apple juice it's one other thing that he will drink some whole milk i got this one a few weeks ago and i thought i would get it again coconut crush liquid wash it is really really nice really tropical really um very holiday-esque you know and then i got two lots of bleach because i needed it the kids are going back to school and i haven't at all been buying any snacks because we've just been making our own or whatever and um, i thought i would just pick up a couple i got the double chocolate mini cookies there's six little bags in there. And then I also got them some seal bars. I got me and Graham our favorite salted pretzel. If you haven't tried this, you need to try this. I ha I'm sad that I have to share it, to be honest. <laughs> but it, the chocolate is so good. It's super thick. Can you see how thick it is? It's just delicious. Um, I also got some, these are at the till, the coconut and vanilla popcorn. I'm going to take them out with us tomorrow. But I, I mean, we all love popcorn. I, that just sounds really nice. And I'm sure prop, proper popcorn, the brand, do this flavour popcorn as well. Um, I got some rice cakes for Miles. But to be perfectly honest, me and Violet love these as well. These little raspberry ones and the apple flavour. I got some grease proof baking paper. Been using that recently. Some breadsticks for like hummus and... Um, the kids just love snacking on breadsticks. And then I got two lots of the chocolate chip cookies just to put in the biscuit barrel for like after school or tea and biscuits, you know, standard. And then we've got some mini cheese bakes. Again, I haven't bought crisps in ages. Um, it's just one thing we haven't really been going through. I've been trying to encourage them to just eat other things. But um, yeah, I got the cheese bakes, which are like mini cheddars, and then just some cheese and onion crisps. Sandwich thins, because I know the kids like sandwich thins for school. And then we've got some Weetabix, because Graham and Miles usually has this. And then I got some plain bagels for cream cheese and salmon. Oh, bagels. These are really good. And then I also thought I would try this. Like, Graham always used to buy a tiger loaf. And um, I noticed they did it in half sizes because they do the massive loaf. And I usually I'm like, oh, we never eat a whole loaf. We, we just won't. So, the, yeah, they do it in half size. So, um, yeah, I ended up getting that. So we can have like toasted, oh, toasted bacon sandwiches or whatever. Just toast. This fresh bread is always so nice. Um, continental croissants. 
And then we've got some choco hoops for a cereal, but we've got a couple already still in the cupboard. And then I really needed some new tea towels. Mine are so manky. Um, these were only £3.49 for a five pack. I thought that was really good. They're proper terry material. Um, so yeah, got those. And then I got three of the oats porridge, the quick oats. So I've been having these at work. So I've got three because I work three days a week. So um, I got the golden syrup, the apple blueberry flavour and then the mixed berry. I just find on my break, it just kind of ties me over for the last couple of hours because I have my break. Obviously, I do early shifts. So I have my break around lunchtime. Um, not lunchtime, breakfast time. So um, yeah, I, they're 29p each as well. So pretty darn cheap and really filling. I love porridge. And then I got Miles some nappies, size six. These are £4.49 for, I don't even know how many you get in here. Oh, 60. So it's there, 60. So that's really good value. And then lastly, just some dog food for the dogs, mainly for pickles because he is an old man and he needs his, he usually has one of these little trays in the morning for breakfast and then a whole can for dinner with some dry stuff. So I think I mentioned in my recent vlog that I have bought, I kind of went, I was basically recommended from a hairdresser. She was using Sim Simply Cook and she says it's really good, really affordable. It's great because you don't have to have all the fresh ingredients sent to you. You can just kind of make the meal when you want it. And I just thought that is such a great idea. You just get all the condiments, the herbs, the spices, all of that in the box. Again, this is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to try it and it was three pounds for the box. It looks like this, Simply Cook. You can get the app and you can um, basically just dip in and out of it, of it like most subscriptions at the moment. Um, so yeah, I've got my recipes this week and I'm going to do, so I'm going to tell you what. So last night we had, um, what are they called? Barbecue ribs. The ones from Aldi in the freezer section, we had two, I bought two lots of those. They were literally sat in my freezer already because I was going to do my food shop yesterday, but I just haven't been feeling too great. Um, hormones and migraines and whatever. So um, I already knew that I had some sweet potato fries and some potato wedges and I had some corn. So we kind of did like ribs, chips and corn. And it was a really nice quick meal and everyone loved it. So that's what we had last night for Monday. Tonight I am going to be doing the, where is it? <laughs> I really got it out ready, the wild mushroom penne. I'm going to add some chicken with that because you know my husband's like, Graham always wants a bit of meat with his meals, which is fair enough. I do love chicken anyway. So I'm going to do the wild mushroom penne, which looks like that. Again, you've got the little, where is this? You get your little box. So this has got garlic paste, porcini, porcini stock, which I think obviously is a mushroom stock, and then a porcini and chive, like sprinkling all herbs, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that tonight. And then I'm gonna do the linguine with prawns and rocket tomorrow. I actually already have a nice like family pack of prawns in my freezer, that's why I didn't buy any. Again, I've got the stuff to do it and then on what day that brings me up thursday i'm doing the chicken honey must the creamy honey mustard chicken dish which is with mashed potato and tender stem broccoli so again a lot of these i will probably add extra vegetables and stuff like that because i do like to throw in extra things like spinach and with that i can throw in extra broccoli or some mixed veg or something um so yeah, and then Friday I'm gonna do homemade pizza and then we'll see where the weekend takes us, but I'll probably be wiped by them. But most of the time we get a takeaway on, on Saturday or have steak and then, yeah. So that is pretty much my meal plan. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're well, I hope you're having a good week. Um, yeah, we've got another couple of busy days and then the kids are back to school, which I'm just, oh. I don't know. I just feel like in in one respect, I'm like so ready for them to get back to school. But then I'm like, oh, we're on the rat race of like the school runs. And oh, it's just been nice just to not have that in your life at, you know, 8am in the morning and 
three o'clock in the afternoon. That tie is just so annoying once they start school, honestly. But I think they're so ready. Um, they're ready. Alistair's going into year eight. Like, where did that even go? And then Violet's going into year five. I just, honestly, it blows my mind. Miles has already moved up to the bigger two to three group in nursery. Oh, my babies. But anyway, I really hope you're well anyway. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I've inspired you for some meals randomly. Um, but yeah, tell me what you're eating this week. Have you been stuck in a rut? To be fair, we've been doing a lot of barbecues, pasta dishes, um, easy pizza <laughs> pizza's been on our menu i'll tell you i'm so i'm actually really sick of pizza we're just eating it far too much bolognese just standards really i haven't been too adventurous but i'm actually pleased to try these recipes and hopefully they're not too difficult they're about 20 to 30 minute the recipes apparently so i'll let you know how it goes anyway and um i will see you in my next video